All right, hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, we're actually going to create a small program. Now that we know about layouts, buttons, and labels, we can actually create a uh, program that acts like a counter. It will have two buttons and one label. So the button will either increment or decrement the value that's inside the label, and that should act like a small little um, counter program. All right, let's get started. So I'm just going to erase all of this just to start from scratch again. Everything else should be kept the same. I mean, yeah, pretty much, yeah, just keep it the same. Now, if you want, you, let's just change the title to, um, um, I don't know, my counter, counter program. Yeah, it's good enough. So, the box. So, remember, um, to create a box, we do gtk.box, and then like that. Nope, just like that. So GTK box equals new GTK box and inside it accepts two things the orientation orientation it can either be vertical or horizontal for this case I want it vertical oops vertical and also the spacing so I want it to be zero all right <clears throat> next after that we're going to create two buttons so GTK that button and let's just call it a plus and it's going to accept it's going to take in a plus the little plus sign and remember we have to do with the label and this is going to be minus and minus here as well now we're going to need to access the label variable uh, label variable from from the class so what we're gonna do is gonna create that one as a class variable so we do private uh, gtk that button and let's just call it um number yeah there we go gtk that button number all right cool and we're going to initialize number which is going to be a new gtk dot Label. Why did I put um, a button? I don't know why. Actually, a label. There you go. New GTK label, and it's going to start off at zero. Exactly. Beautiful. Bam, bam. All right. Sweet. So now we have that, and what we're gonna do next is actually add those three widgets to the box. So we do box that the uh, pack start the object that we want to put. So plus. And then the booleans. Do I want this to be proportional to the window? Uh, no, I just want it to stay where it's at. So stay at the beginning. And fall. And the next one is false because, as well, because I don't want it to take up all the space it can. Just, you know, just take up minimal space. And then the padding, which is also zero. I don't want any padding. Oops. Um, all right, the next one is going to be the label. So I want the label. Oh, we named the label number, and I want it to be yes, proportional to the window, and yes, take up all the space it can, and zero for the padding. Now next is going to be we're going to do um, the minus button, but I want the minus button to always be at the bottom, so I do pack end. So that's how you do it minus and then the same as the plus false false and zero all right sweet now we have everything inside the box widget now all that's left to do is to add it to the window itself so this dot add box sweet that should that should be it so let's go run it and if I do bala uh, package equals gtk plus minus 3.0 um, and then simple bala it should run come on come on come on there you go so no matter if oh, how I expand it this button should always be at the top and the minus should always be at the bottom and this guy right here should take up whatever it can so let me see if I stretch it out bam what I tell you plus right here minus right here label takes up everything now as you can see it doesn't do anything because we haven't told it to do anything so let's go do that uh, right after here let's just bind them to something so plus dot uh, click dot connect I believe yeah 
click the connect <clears throat> and what's gonna call is this click method we'll create which we'll create right now minus dot click dot connect on click oops yep sweet so let's go create that right now it's gonna be public private void on click and then it's gonna take in the button oh, come on can't type apparently let's just name it button and then what it will what it will do in here is basically parse the label and then check what button was pressed whether plus or minus and then increment the label and yeah just reset reset the value of the label that's basically it and how we do that is we create a variable in num to hold the number and then we parse what's inside of the label so basically uh, well we named the number so number dot get label just like that so now we have the label and then we right here we're gonna check if we're supposed to subtract or add so button dot get label right here <coughs> so if it was plus oops it equals uh, plus so if it was plus we're gonna do num plus equals one else we're gonna do num minus one simple as that so yeah we just narrowed it down to one line instead of doing like four lines so yeah that's pretty handy for doing simple things like this and then last but not least we just set the new value number dot label equals um, uh, what is it? Num dot two string. Yeah, that should work. Now, if we go and run it, and whether it plus plus, we got increment. Awesome. Minus subtracting. Sweet. That was pretty easy. Now, one interesting thing to do that you can might try to do is basically, as the window increases, so does the font the text the label increases but uh, you can do that if you want or not but yeah there you go that's how you do it incrementing and the opposite sweet well yeah that's it all right oh man I wasted seven minutes eh, okay all right see you guys